Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video today we will review device compliance policy for Windows user. And we will also go ahead and we will configure compliance policy for our environment according to our requirement. So to get to Intune, you can type this URL into your browser intune.microsoft.com and you must have Intune subscription so that you can perform all these steps. So now we are at Intune home. So these policies could assign to users as well as to the devices. We can assign policy on the basis of users. We can assign policy on the basis of devices. If we need user to be marked as compliant on the device and that single user is using a device, we can assign that device per user. But if we have a shared host and we want the device to first meet our compliant policy to get into our environment or organization then we can assign these policies to devices also we can set up group level to assign these policy like we can assign these policy to specific groups to specific users we can exclude them include them so i will show you in the coming video we can also set up few actions for the device non-compliant so that we can troubleshoot the problem easily right we, we, we will set our rules for the device to be market compliant. If device doesn't meet our rules that are set up into Intune, then the device will go to non-compliant status. Let's discuss the remaining thing that how we can retire the device or how we can send a notification to users when the device is mark compliant or the Intune admin. So let's see all these things in action. Here we are in the Intune portal. So let's start with device compliance policy settings. Let's go to devices. These are the couple of settings that will be applied to whole tenant or whole organization. So after going to devices, let's go to compliance and then go to compliance settings. So here the first option is that mark device with no compliance policy assigned as compliance. In this option, as the standard do not have any compliance policy assigned and the devices will show as compliance which are actually not compliant. First, let's do it non-compliant because if the device doesn't meet our requirement, the device should be non-compliant. So we don't want to move this default setting, right? Because if we, we will set some rules that if device have no antivirus or if the device have no firewall, if the device have not the latest version of Windows, that device must be marked as non-compliant. I hope you understand. So now the device will need the policy setting, right? Or to meet or complete the policy, we will push from here to mark as compliance. This is especially useful when the compliance policy is the part of conditional access and that is pushed from conditional access. Now the next setting is that compliance status validity period. Meaning that if the device is not compliance within a few days or the device doesn't meet the requirement of organization compliance policy, their device will be marked as non-compliant in 30 days. You can increase or decrease this option according to your requirement. As some of the time the employee could be on vacations, right, and they will return after two week, one week, or a month. Then when we when they return, their devices will be marked as non-compliant, and you have to make them compliant again. So you can change this setting according to your requirement. Let's go ahead and save the setting, compliance setting. Okay. So now let's go ahead and create a notification for the device compliance status. So we will use this notification in our upcoming policy and we have to set up this notification first. So let's go ahead and set up the notification for the device compliance status. Okay, here I am in the notification and I'm going to create a notification right now. Let's name our compliance policy as compliance policy hit next so here this will ask for show company logo tenant value or show company name tenant value and all these information right so if you want to add all this information you can go to tenant administration and then customization where you can find all that information here in tenant admin 
you have to go to customization where you can find all this information right so for now i will proceed without this information as i am just explaining to you so let it next now notification message template let's add that template right in the template we can select the language first you can select language according to your requirement right so in the subject we can say compliance status status notification here you can also add an html format of that notification that looks like beautiful according to your requirement but i simply want to say to my users that your device is no more in compliance please talk to your administrator let's save this it's giving an error let's see what we missed here set to default local okay i did this let hit next and at the end you can review and create this notification please note that you can always customize this notification according to your requirements hit create now that we have a notification and let's move on and create a compliance policy so go to policy and then go to create policy so here as i mentioned we will create this policy for windows 10 or later right platform i will select windows 10 or later let's hit create let's name the policy windows compliance policy okay let hit max compliance settings in the compliance setting i will not uh, move with this custom compliance policy for this example let's go to device health in the device health in this compliance policy we will require the device to be bit locker enabled secure boot and code integrity right once the device meets all these requirement then device could be marked as compliant in that device properties we have options here for operating system like what is the minimum version of operating system you need for need for your devices so basically for your example i have added 10.0.9044.2 version and overall devices should be at least at this windows version right maximum i am leaving this blank and we will leave the maximum version and mobile device version blank so here we can also define the valid operating system builds you can define here specific builds or you think that build is most stable right you can specify that specific operating system build here so the next option is configuration manager compliance so our this tenant doesn't have any configuration manager setup required device compliance from configuration manager so i will also leave this blank or not configured okay the next and important option here is system security right i am not going to explain all of these options to you you can go here and you can check all the information here the first option is require a password to unlock mobile devices so this policy is not for mobile devices this is for windows so i will leave it not not configured in device security right i need device to be protected with firewall i need a trusted platform module dpm chip required i need antivirus and anti-spyware as well and i will also need microsoft defender anti-malware so microsoft ended uh, microsoft defender anti-malware security intelligence up to date yes i want that up to date and i also want real-time protection on my windows devices let's go to next option microsoft defender for endpoint rule required the device to be at under the machine risk code you can also configure this if you require that that is next okay now we are here in action for non-compliance if the device gets non-compliance and we were to mark their device as non-compliant zero is immediate right 
and the next we can set here send email to end user as we have previously set up the notification a message template here we can select that notification here we just have created few minutes ago we can select this also we can add the recipients here right who's supposed to get this notification for a non-compliant device all right i want to send this notification to the admin group right let me select this okay mark device as non-compliant let's give it three days notification will send immediately and we will give three days to a user or an admin to mark this compliant device as compliant again right next here we have the option of aid group right which group needs to be included here here we can add users we can add all devices add all users under this policy so if you add a user then that policy will be user based whenever a user try to log in on the device and device is not compliant or not matches our compliant policy then he will face problem also if you want to add the device group right you want to make devices to get this policy then user doesn't matter but the device should be compliant so that user can use their device without any interruption right the device should be under firewall antivirus encryption and all that those options you have set previously so what i want to do i want to add all devices and i want all my devices to be marked at compliance whether any of the user will log in on the dead device you can exclude the groups as well right you can add the groups as well so let's hit next and here you can review all the settings and you can go ahead and create policy okay so this policy i've just created in tune always takes some time to propagate all settings across the devices and the users so the compliance policy will take a few minutes sometime, will take a day, will take a uh, half day sometime to propagate across the tenant. But if you want to check the status of your compliance policy, you can view report from here, right? And you can check these compliance policy by going to a devices, right? You can check these compliance policy per device if it gets propagated. Whatever requirement are that the device should be bit locker protected, secure boot, code integrity integrate integrity and then minimum os version should be this and we also need all of these security setting for our windows device right and if you want to check if this policy gets propagated to your device you can go to devices then all devices and pick up any of one device from here after choosing the device you can go to device compliance here right so that's it for today's lecture i hope you enjoy it you found it very helpful please subscribe my channel please comment if you need any further help or you can suggest me any further videos i will create for you thank you for watching bye